how to get a picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I just need to focus on the subject and get in the zone. Like I used to. Tentacle monster? The heck? <laughs> okay. All right. Back to reality, dude. Drawing some Cthulhu stuff. Okay. What do you, what do you got here? Be right back. We'll find out. Popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Dear Mrs. Diaz, my name is Jacob and I work with your sons, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. Thanks, Jacob. Dude, you're a G. Alright, well... If I look through this, she's gonna probably walk in, isn't she? I know I shouldn't peek, but... She's got condoms. What glad to know she learned the lesson. Accidentally Karen did her own road trip to get here. I accidentally cancelled whatever he was gonna say. Here you go, cheesecake, hell yeah. Turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice. Twice. My solid two days and dreamy nights just to find myself leaning forward to turning back. That's one of her poems. Damn. Whoa. That's some scribble. Like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing sore. I remember, know the feeling. There's no fighting back that beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red eye, truckers, and sad families. Bad eggs, not the waitress's fault. She is a quick, hurried one, probably ending a long sh night shift. Tag says Clementine, 22-ish, red-eyed, redhead, redhead dyed brunette. Eyebrows and skin town don't lie. Irish descent. Owner's daughter, maybe. Mahoney's. Big, polite smile. Busy mind. Mild. Mildly clumsy. Looks distracted. Anxious. Is she just re reading people or is she trying to write a poem here? Young cook called her Clemmy. Brother, boyfriend, boyfriend. Apologize when the orders are late and she's the one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? Mixing up work and love seldom makes such a good match. That a brand new baby bump under the stained apron. It's 2017 and young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing ever really changes. Hmm. Is she like an investigator or something? Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing geolocate. One, two, two. Hope you find your son. One two two seven oh eight one one or one one two seven oh eight. Why can't I move? There it goes. One one two seven. God damn it! If you go too fast, it sucks. One one two seven oh eight. Yay! Technology. She came prepared. Welcome to New Life at Universal Uprising Church Haven Point. Therefore, go making disciples, all nations, baptizing them in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I will always I am always with you to the very end of age. Mission Accept the Lord, spread the word of Jesus, keep faith with the community. To seek and to save the lost. A message from Reverend Mother Elizabeth Fisher. As a pastor of our holy church, I have devoted my life to love life and love. To the teachings of the gospel and our Lord, I was blessed since childhood to be given this calling, and it is my privilege to spread the word and preside over his loving, righteous community of ha Haven Point. I look forward to each and, each and every one who seeks out our humble refuge. Together, we will begin the journey into a new life guided by the Spirit of the Lord and Savior. Bless you all. 
New Haven Point community. Haven Point, Nevada is a living oasis where individuals and families can live out their faith in a community de dedicated to the teachings of Christ. All who share a faith are welcome to join us, build bridge to the Lord and his eternal estate. Hospitality. Beloved, is beloved. it is faithful thing you do in all your efforts for these brothers, strangers as they are. Gratitude. It is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Forgiveness. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling, and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Next. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Slice of Haven Point. One of the great mysteries in Nevada is how it balances the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. Few tourists travel around the world to seek religion here, but in the tight-knit Christian community of ha Haven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired a devout following. As she told me in an interview at her peaceful church office, Reverend Elizabeth Fisher has spent her whole life as a humble disciple of the Lord, feeling the call to share his love and glory in the dark age. I had a powerful experience as a child that put me on the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand, but this is not about me or my story, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. And tell me they did. The member of the Universal Uprising Church speak with hushed awe of their pastor, and now she inspires them. Reverend Fisher just wants to share blessings with us, says Corey Johnson, 34, a recent addition to the congregation. I was pretty cynical before. I went to one of her revivals. You could feel the electricity when she spoke. People were crying, including me. Looks like a mustard party. But nobody will find me there. Sand Snake Motel, ratings two. Cheap motel, Heaven Point, Nevada. Beds are super uncomfortable, but it's cheap. Nice pool, but dusty as fuck. Nice world to motel, cool staff. Good enough. I'm not going out. Well, so what do I do now? Phone. That wasn't there before. Call Jacob. Hello? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? What's up, dude? I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brady Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All oh, this is so messed up. Let's just rest while I wait for her. No, I need to clean my eye. It's been at least a day. Please be Karen. Oh, thank hey, God. Sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Pretty fucked up. Alter boys don't fight fair. Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? You remember that? That'll do. Oh, I'm with that. No onion, please. Thank you. Got you some gauze and oh, thank you. Bacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, 
You didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Got some help. We almost didn't. Dad taught us. We almost didn't. We almost didn't. We just kept moving. And nobody helped you along the way? Mm -mm. You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, Look at her necklace. I just necklace. want to know what I did and why, if you care. So ask me anything. So what I liked about the necklace is the knot there. Normally, you know, a developer is like, oh, it's a perfect necklace, but it looks like it's been shifted. Nice little touch. Why did you leave? What are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Uh. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, why did you leave? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. So why all of a sudden? Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love, you made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. It felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Dad knew? Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. Mm. He was heartbroken. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. At yeah. least she's being straight okay. with us. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. Mama. Hey. You only have one life. Hey. And I didn't yeah. want mine to be spent in regrets. For years. I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I know you are, Karen. That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Really need to clean your eye, bro.
Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. Clear the air. Let's see what happens. Why ghost us? I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. You wanted a clean break? But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Yeah, you heard him worse. Cool plan, Mom. You heard Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. Did you miss us? So, did you ever actually miss us or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. He used to do a lot. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because dad sucked. <laughs> Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. What'd you do? So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms, it's just all about security, after all. She's it's very like Cassidy-esque. jail to me. Or Cassidy is very tried to Karen. Was it worth it? Yeah, hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. Peace? How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. I agree with that. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. I like her hair. I like how they did it. Am I gonna bum one? I'm not gonna ask for a smoke. I don't like when he smokes. I don't like smoking in general. 